This is the Timer Camera X, a recent release from M5 Stack. It's a tiny ESP32 based camera module with a built in battery and a ton of applications. M5 Stack kindly sent over a unit for us to check out, so let's find out what it's all about, shall we? Essentially, the Timer Camera X is a mini camera module attached to an ESP32 microcontroller. This means it can be programmed through the Arduino IDE and made to do all manner of things, including AI image recognition if you're a real clever clogs. Thanks to its built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, the Timer Camera X is perfectly suited to DIY smart home projects. It charges by USB Type-C, has the usual M5 stack Grove connector on the base, and comes supplied with both a wall mount and a LEGO Technics compatible adapter. The chassis is the same size as the M5 Stick C, so it also fits on the wrist strap. Not that that's a particularly useful mount for this, but maybe if you want to attach it to a pole or something, it could come in handy. If we open it up, we can see the Diddy 140 milliamp hour battery, and though it's very tiny, M5 Stack claim it can run for over one month when taking a photo an hour, which is very impressive. Here we can see the OV3660 camera module attached by a ribbon cable. This little thing has a three megapixel image sensor and a focusing ring that makes you feel like a giant. The lens on this camera module has a 66.5 degree field of view, which is great for webcam use and the like, but it's a bit narrow if you're gonna do any security camera type stuff. M5 Stack just the other week released a Timer Camera F, which seems to be the same product, but with a fisheye lens. So that would be worth considering if your project requires a wide angle camera. A cool thing that I figured out in my tinkering is that the lens threading on the Timer Camera X is the same as what's found on micro FPV drones, like the Tiny Whip. So I managed to dig one out, stick it on there, and now I've got a nice wide angle. The easiest way to get up and running with the Timer Camera X is to use M5 Stack's camera tool application. You just download the program from M5 Stack's website, follow the instructions to burn the image onto the timer camera, and then you can easily view the video stream via USB or Wi-Fi. On the left of the screen, you get a bunch of adjustable parameters for tweaking the image, and there's even an Android app version for viewing the feed on your mobile. This is all well and good, but it doesn't give you any flexibility for your projects. So unless you just need a cheap wireless video feed, you'll want to program the timer camera in another way. Unfortunately, UI flow support has not been fully implemented yet. You can send the images from the timer camera to an M5 stack core display using UI flow, but currently you can't really program the device itself, although it sounds like they're working on adding support. So at the moment, it seems like the best option for most people will be using the Arduino IDE. It's fairly easy to set up and get running, but as it stands, M5 stack's documentation is pretty sparse. This is the main thing I'd like to see improved. I can tell there's a world of possibilities with the Timer Camera X, but it's really hard to know where to start, and there's not a lot of examples to follow. Luckily, I found that adapting code that's designed for other ESP32 cameras is pretty easy, and it works well. I found a great tutorial from TechiSims? TechiSMS? TechiSMS? Anyway, it shows you how to use Blink and an ESPi camera to make a smart doorbell. To adapt the code, I just commented out the ESPi line and uncommented the M5 stack PS RAM line. I redefined LED to pin 2 and button to pin 4. Easy as that. On the hardware side, I used some jumpers from a GPIO extension cable and connected them to the 5 volt and G14 pins in the Grove port. These are then connected to each side of a momentary button or soldered to your existing doorbell if you're going all in on this. Otherwise, you can just follow the tutorial from start to finish. It's a pretty simple project and it's super practical. One thing I haven't quite figured out is how to get the battery working with this code. I'm sure it's really simple and I'll figure it out sooner or later, but currently that's the only thing stopping me from leaving the Timer Camera X on my doorbell for everyday use because I'd really rather not have to install a USB-C cable through my door frame. So that's about it for this one. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool product at a decent price. It comes in at about 15 quid shipped from Banggood or AliExpress. It is a little more than standard ESP32 cams, but the fact that it comes in a nice housing with the convenience of a built-in battery and a USB-C port makes it well worth the difference. 
I'd really like to see some more documentation and I really hope it gets UI flow support. With that in place, I think M5 Stack are really onto a winner with this one. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe to watch more techie nonsense. Until next time, toodles. Thank <laughs> you.